Good morning, Mrs. Rocha here. I am reading another chapter from Sideways Stories from Wayside School. The author is Lewis Satchar and illustrated by Adam McCauley. Remember what the illustrator does? He draws the pictures in the book. So usually what I do before I read you a chapter, I read it first and then I decide if that's a chapter I really want to read to you or not. But you know what? I haven't read this chapter. I'm just going to go for it. The title of the chapter is Didi. What do you infer this story is about by looking at the picture? Tell me in the comments, boys and girls, on our Google Classroom. This story contains a problem and a solution. Dee Dee was a mousy looking kid. Unlike most children at Wayside School, she liked recess better than spelling. As soon as the recess bell rang, she would jump up from her seat and run out the door. There were big signs in Wayside School on every floor. No jumping down the stairs. All capital letters. Dee Dee never seemed to notice the signs. She jumped down the stairs. Some children took the stairs two at a time. Dee Dee took them ten at a time. That was on the way down. It was funny. She never seemed to be in quite the same hurry on the way back up. There was another sign at Wayside School, and it's capital letters also. No cutting across the grass. Dee Dee must not ever have seen that one either. She cut across the grass and ran up to Lewis, the yard teacher. I want a green ball, Dee Dee said. The green balls were the best. I'm all out of green balls, said Lewis. Okay, then I want a red ball, said Dee Dee. The red balls were just about as good as the green balls. They didn't bounce as high, but actually, sometimes you don't want a ball to bounce too high. I'm all out of red balls, too, said Lewis. Do you have anything left? asked Dee Dee. Dee Dee meant anything besides the yellow ball. There was the one yellow ball at Wayside School, and Lewis was always trying to get rid of it. It didn't bounce, and it never went the way it was kicked. Anything at all? asked Dee Dee. Today's your lucky day, said Lewis. I have one ball left just for you, the one and only yellow ball. No thanks, said Dee Dee. Ah, oh, come on, take it, said Lewis. Why don't you ever have any green or red balls, asked Dee Dee. I do, said Lewis, but the other children asked first. By the time you get out here, they're all gone. But that's because I have to come all the way from the 30th story. How do you expect me to compete with the kids from the first or second, she asked. That's why I saved you the yellow ball, said Lewis. Everybody wanted it, but I saved it just for you. I bet, said Dee Dee. She took the yellow ball and bounced it on the ground. It stopped dead with a thump. She stepped back, ran up, and kicked it. It went backwards over her head. She didn't bother chasing it. Instead, she played hopscotch with Jenny and Leslie. She thought it was disgusting. The next day, Dee Dee asked Mrs. Jules if she could go to recess early. Why, asked Mrs. Jules, so I can get a green ball before Lewis gives them all away, said Dee Dee. I'm glad you have a good reason, said Mrs. Jules. Yes, you may go, but first spell Mississippi for me. Spelling was not Dee Dee's best subject. By the time she finally got it right, she was five minutes late for recess. She jumped down the stairs, cut across the grass, and ran up to Lewis. There were no green balls left. There were no red balls left either. However, there was still the yellow ball. Dee Dee played jump rope with Joy and Mauricia. It was no better than hopscotch. So Dee Dee's problem was to figure out a way to get a green ball or at least a red ball. You already know that this story also contains a solution. Dee Dee figured it out. See if you can too. Remember everything you know about Dee Dee. Wayside School and Mrs. Jules. Hint. The next day, Dee Dee bought a cream cheese and jelly sandwich, some nuts, and shredded cheese in her lunchbox. Here's what happened. 
Just before recess, Dee Dee smeared the cream cheese and jelly all over her face. Okay. Then she stuffed her mouth with nuts and hung the shredded cheese from her nose. Of course. When she closed her eyes, she looked just like a dead rat. Todd was in on the plan. Mrs. Jules, he called. There's a dead rat in the classroom. Mrs. Jules was very put out. I want that dead rat outside immediately. When Mrs. Jules said immediately, she meant it. Dee Dee instantly found herself outside on the playground. I want a green ball, she said. Lewis pretended that he hadn't heard her. May I please have a green ball? asked Dee Dee. Lewis gave her a green ball. I don't know how you did it, Dee Dee, but you're first today, he said. When Mrs. Jules found out that Dee Dee and Todd had tricked her, she sent Todd home early on the kindergarten bus. Dee Dee threw the green ball on the ground. It bounced 50 feet straight up in the air, and then she caught it. You don't like me, do you? she asked Lewis. Sure I do, said Lewis. No, you don't, said Dee Dee. Yes, I like you, said Lewis. No, you don't, Dee Dee insisted. Yes, I like you, I really do, said Lewis. Are you sure? asked Dee Dee. Yes, said Lewis. Don't you believe me? I guess so, said Dee Dee. Do you like me? asked Lewis. You bet, said Dee Dee. You're my best friend. Terrific, said Lewis. I always wanted to be best friends with a dead rat. Okay, that was another silly story from Wayside Schools. Tell me what you thought of the ending. Were you already thinking that, hey, she looks like a rat. Does Lewis really know who she is? I kind of forgot about that part till the very end. So she really did look like a rat. Hmm. Interesting. Remember that I care about you and I want you to have a safe and wonderful rest of the day. Take care. Bye.